there's a Miami police officer who has been relieved of duty because he's being investigated for flashing a white power hand gesture during a photograph. Okay, I kid you not. The city of, of Miami police officer is under investigation because of what he was doing in a photo taken while on duty. The picture in question was taken Friday after Miami police made a big gun bust. But now top department brass, they are taking a closer look. A commander, ladies and gentlemen, a commander posted the pic, the photo on Twitter. And someone noticed the officer at the far end of the picture flashing hand signals that some consider the white power message. Let's put it up, okay, you see him with his buddies, all right? The guy to the far end throwing up the hand gestures. It is in fact a white power gesture by the accounts of many. So there it is in single profile. Now according to this fella, all right, according to this guy, his name is Daniel Obida. According to Daniel, he's just throwing up a six. Let's put that picture back up again. You must think we boo-boo the fool. Hmm. That's what he says he's doing, okay? The department, ladies and gentlemen, they're not buying it. That man is Miami police officer Daniel Ubeda. Um, the tweet was deleted less than 48 hours after it was posted. Uh, the commander who posted it also made his account private. This was meant to be private between him and six his six guys, said president of the Miami Fraternal Order of Police, uh, Tommy Reyes, holding up his fingers. It was not supposed to be posted on Twitter. Wait a minute, wait a minute, why? He's just throwing up a six. Why is that not supposed to be on Twitter? Huh? Doesn't make much sense for Turner Order of Police. Um, this time, Miami Police, the chief, decided this was enough. Relieved this cop of duty, and an internal affairs investigation is ongoing. Now, let me tell you why they did this, okay? Let me tell you why they did it. Number one, they already know he's a white supremacist. Okay, believe me, there are things that they know that we don't know. It wasn't just this photo. And he was spotted wearing another white supremacist sign. Um, here it is right here. Yeah, his Trump mask. He got in trouble for this. Let me give you some background, ladies and gentlemen. On the morning of October 20th, the city of Miami police officer walked into a local polling place, you heard me right, a polling place to cast his ballot during early voting while sporting his full uniform and a mask that read Trump 2020, no more bullish. My producers are like, don't say the whole word. No, I know the rules here. So he wore that mask saying 2020, Trump 2020, no more bullish. Um, he was reprimanded and uh, he was eventually uh, let go because of this new incident. But ladies and gentlemen, this is just a problematic cop, problematic police officer. Let's be very clear about it. And we are continuing to follow this story because while he has been relieved of duty now, I need to know what has he done while on duty? If he's willing to throw up white power symbols and willing to wear in by the way, violation of voting laws wear a Trump sign as a mask um, while he goes vote, while he goes and votes. And listen, when they called him out on this, when he went to vote, uh, he said, hey, um, uh, sweetheart, you wanna take a picture? That's what he told the, the person who actually said, hey, listen, what are you doing? Okay, to talk about this and a whole lot more, I got the big homie Jordan Yule. Uh, Jordan, how do you see this stuff, man? Uh, Dr. Rishi, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, Absolutely. This this story is just like you know a symptom of the disease. You know we live in a sick, racist society, and if you are somebody who 
you know, has these violent uh, or racist fantasies, what better place to get cover for him than joining a police department? We've seen time and time again reports about how even the FBI has been investigating people with links to white nationalist or white supremacist groups who are embedded in police forces. Um, they all knew. That's why. They, that's why you saw the line about, "Oh, this picture wasn't supposed to be posted." They knew what this guy's beliefs were. You, you know, there's, there's <laughs> racism and white supremacy is rampant in police departments uh, around the country. Uh, last time I was on, we talked about a case in Baltimore. You know, which is one of the worst police departments in the country, just blatantly uh, racist and acting out against the city. Um, this isn't, you know, this isn't community policing. This isn't. Um, you know, to protect and serve. These are people who have hateful, bigoted views, getting cover from the state, and in the process are getting <laughs> militarized. Um, it's extremely dangerous to have someone like this out on the streets with a gun, with weapons, with military surplus gear, whatever. Uh, it, it, that he was even, you know, reprimanded is is shocking to me because this is so commonplace. Yeah, it really is, and that's why leadership matters. The reason why. This has been handled the way it has been handled is because of that police chief. That police chief said, we will not do this on my watch. Now that wasn't the police chief during the first incident, but it is the police chief during this one. And you see a very different outcome based on the leadership that's involved. You did not need a new statute, you did not need a new ordinance, you did not need a new mayor. You simply needed a new person in leadership in law enforcement, leadership makes a big difference.